the playlist. Wema inabidi tusikie mbili tatu kuhusiana na hii hapa na mara nyingi kila ambacho unakifanya wema watu wanakuwa na tayari na majibu yao. Unanipata? Mm-hmm. As far as jina la wema tulikitajwa tayari watu wanaenda mpaka kwenye conclusion. Yeah. As since you're here, yeah. um, you can set the record straight, yeah? Uh-huh. Tuliona ulikuwa nje ya nchi kitu cha namna hiyo kwenye mitandao ikawa viral sana. Yeah. Na watu wakawa wanaongea mambo mawili matatu. Moja lilikuwa ni kwamba lini? Hmm? Lini? A little bit hapa katikati kuna kama safari fulani hivi ilikuwa inaonekana kuna picha za nje umetoka. Ah, nje nje. Hii vijusi kati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kwamba wengine wanaanza kupiga issue ya kwamba umeenda kupunguza utumbo, sio vitu vya namna hiyo. Ah, mimi e, nikajui ya juzi ya China. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Na ingine tena issue ya kwenda kutafuta mtoto na vitu vya namna hiyo. Mm-hmm. Since you are here, issue mm-hmm. issue asile kupeleka ni nini? Um, uh, okay. First things first nadhani wa Tanzania wote kwa ujumla wanajua tatizo langu ambalo nimekuwa niki experience kwa muda yeah. mrefu sana and um, tatizo la kutoweza kupata mtoto mm-hmm. and na hii hili ndio limekuwa ni tatizo ambalo ambalo watu sasa kama Cheza na mike kidogo juu kama wananipigia nalo wananichapia wananicha nalo fimbo hivi mara nimeitoa mike mm-hmm. <laughs> kama wananichapia nalo fimbo hivi yeah. kwa sababu imekuwa tena hakuna matusi mengine nishatukana kila kila aina tusi lakini wanaona kabisa kwamba tukimtukana hivi tunamuumiza eh hey, real sense naumia kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho ninakitaka mm-hmm. and nimekuwa nikikitamani kwa muda mrefu nadhani mm-hmm. nimekuwa nikitamani kupata mtoto tokea nina miaka 24 wow that's way yes, back that's way back now you're about to turn 30 yeah I'm, I'm turning 30 tomorrow what yeah. are you talking <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah I yes. feel very old I, I am old I feel very old you feel very old <laughs> so oh. make sure you know you're going to yeah I've been I've been wanting a baby since I was like 24 yeah. so <laughs> what shut up okay <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a granddad <laughs> <laughs> okay kwa hiyo Tokea na miaka 24 nimekuwa nikitamani mtoto. Yeah, yeah. And nimekuwa nikawa na ile mentality kwamba nikizaa mapema itakuwa ni vizuri kwa sababu I would then nitapata raha na mtoto wangu. Sio mm-hmm. nanelewa ni mpaka sasa hivi imagine ningekuwa na mtoto tokea na miaka 24 sasa hivi ingekuwaje. Yeah, yeah. Yaani na turn 30 alafu mtoto wangu labda na miaka 6 sio yeah, yeah. nanelewa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yani nimekuwa nikitamani hivyo. Yeah. Kwa hiyo for uh, kwa kipindi cha muda mrefu sana nimekuwa nikimuona Gaino mm-hmm. um nimeona Gaino karibia wote wa, i mean sio karibia wote few mm-hmm. wa hapa Tanzania mm-hmm. and then nikaamua sasa nitoke nje Tanzania nikaanza kumuona Gaino ambaye yuko Nairobi yeah. so mara mara nyingi nimekuwa nikisafiri kwenda kwa ajili ya check up na nini hivyo mm-hmm. and one day i go visit my Gaino ananiambia kwamba um wema naona kwamba unapata kama umepata kama kama uvimbe alafu kama mayai yako yanakuwa yako produced lakini yanatoboka sana mm-hmm. na ndio maana kila ukipata ukishika ujauzito unapata miscarriage mm-hmm. so akanambia hii tukiacha and uzuri wa kule wa, wa kule wenzetu wa Kenya mm-hmm. wakiwa hawawezi kufanya kitu wanakuambia sisi hatutoweza ya yeah, yani kwamba sisi hatutoweza yeah. tofauti na hapa mtu anakoma anasema kwamba hatutoweza na mm. wakati mwisho siku mtu mpaka anapoteza uhai yeah. anapata matatizo zaidi yeah. tatizo linakuwa kubwa unaona so my gana akaniambia kwamba hili tatizo sito hatutoweza sisi hapa kulitibu yeah. lakini nitaku, nitakupa um, iyo connection ili uweze kwenda India oh, yeah. wakatoe i kama infect yani ni, ime, kama, uvimbe ni kama yes uvimbe yes mm-hmm. and then ikawa ni kama wanaita PCOS mm-hmm. sasa ikawa iko very strong na nisingeweza ku, kuwa makini ningejikuta napata hata kansa ya kizazi oh, no. cervical cancer oh, no. so ime yani ilikuwa ni imenila ime muda mrefu mm-hmm. kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho huwezi ukakaa ukaanza kumwambia kila mtu. Sijui yeah. unanielewa. Yeah, you can't so. just start explaining all that. Mm. This is very personal. Yeah. Unaona maneno mengi yamekuwa yakisemwa lakini nimeona kwamba nikae kimya because siwezi kumwambia tayari watu wanajua kwamba mimi na tatizo mm. la, la kushika ujauzito. That much it's very enough for them to know. Kwa hiyo sasa ikiwa unawambia tena zaidi imenibidi niseme kwa sababu it's just too much. Yaani vitu vingi vinaendelea. Yeah, yeah. So hiyo PCOS pia ilikuwa ni moja ya kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinanifanya pia ni gain weight sana. Oh, yeah. Yaani hiyo ni kwa ni kama moja Una side effects sana. zake. Yes, yeah. kama hapa katikati mnakumbuka nili 
futuka sana yeah, yani yeah. nilikuwa nili mnene mno mm. paka nilikuwa na jinsi mzito mm-hmm. and doctor akaniambia kwamba ukishakuwa una uzito sana uwezi hata kushika mimba oh, yeah. kwa hiyo una 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 yani una endanger hata zile possibilities za wewe kushika mimba oh, yeah. so you should treat this unaona mm-hmm. kwa hiyo safari yangu ya kwenda india ilikuwa ni kwenda ku treat tatizo nililokuwa nalo oh, yeah. na sio tatizo lingine oh, yeah. sasa sijui maswala sijui ya utumbo sijui ya nini mimi nashangaa kwa sababu mtu anayekata utumbo kwa anakuwa yuko hai yani i don't know sijui mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mimi najua nimeenda kwa ajili ya ku treat tatizo langu Na... and nimepewa muda wa mwaka mzima mm-hmm. nikae ili niweze ku heal then niweze kuanza kuangaika tena kupata mtoto kwa sababu dreams zangu za kupata mtoto hazijaisha yeah. i i still have um, hope that Hat, uh, that siku moja na mimi nitaitwa mama oh, yeah, kwa sababu yeah. ni kitu ambacho nakitamani sana oh, yeah. na i think no, my love for kids is too much no maana hata naenda kufungua baby shop ni maana definitely na naona una una, una post watoto na wapenda sana watoto ah, napenda watoto mpaka nachanganyikiwa na, sana <laughs> na walisema lina linatibika baada ya mwaka mmoja kila kitu kitakuwa sawa baada ya yes, kuenda um, kwa sababu baada ya mwaka itabidi niende tena kufanya check up oh, yeah. ili waangalie kama imesha nini imesha sawa, imesha sawa. Mm-hmm. kwa sababu ilikuwa inaenda point kwamba mayai yanakuwa ya produced mm-hmm. lakini unakuta yai moja lina matobo kama tisa kumi mm-hmm. unaona the last time nimecheck hata hapa hapa tu mm-hmm. and nimeona kwamba yai lina matobo, matobo manne mm-hmm. kwa inaenda inapungua oh, yeah. so I think the procedure is, is doing oh, yeah. in okay. Haukuwa na ile option ambayo mara nyingi umekuwa unampenda Kim Kardashian mm. na ilionekana ni mtu ambaye unampenda unampenda sana. Yeah, na unamfuatia na vitu vya namna hiyo. Iliwahi kutoka story kwamba walitakiwa watumie surrogate mother some like that. Yes, um, Mama yule wa kupandikiza mbegu na vitu vya namna hiyo. I know lakini unajua mtoto wako ambaye umemtoa tumboni kwako ni mtoto wako tu eh. Yeah. Yaani I mean kuna uchungu fulani yani i mean there's a very big difference mm-hmm. um between a baby that you actually carried for nine months yeah, yeah. to a baby that somebody else carried for you yeah. so uh, i don't know maybe baadaye baadaye mimi kupata mtoto oh nikishajua kwamba sasa hivi sasa okay sasa siwezi mm-hmm. completely yeah. basi nitaweza kufikiria hicho lakini no for now oh, yeah. bado sija 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 vunjika moyo saa wabongo yeah. mara nyingi pia huwa wakiona labda mambo ya kwa madaktari hospitali na shindikana wanayaleta kwenye mambo loko mm. ya waganga na vitu vya namna hiyo mm. haijawahi kwa option hiyo kwako um, waganga no lakini miti shamba nimekunywa sana mm. nimeshakunywa sana dawa za kimasai hizi mm. yani nilifika point nilikuwa niko very desperate mm-hmm. zachowe kwamba mtu akiniambia tu kunywa hii na kunywa kunywa hii na kunywa yani na yani nime yani ni kwa nilikuwa niko hivyo yani mm. ukini, ukiniletea chochote yani wewe niambie tu koroga kwa... changanya kunywa mimi nimo Atari, kwa hiyo so. nikawa ile nikawa niko too desperate in a sense that na hisi pia hata nikaongezea matatizo ambayo nilikuwa niko nayo mm. kwa sababu one of the reasons ambayo zo doctor aliniambia akaniambia kwamba unaangaika sana unakunywa kunywa madawa ya aina tofauti tofauti so unajikuta hutibu tatizo unaliongezea unazidi kuchanganya tayo system yenyewe exactly mm. so sasa hivi nimetulia kwanza nimeona bora kwanza hebu ni calm down mm-hmm. nisubirie huo mwaka alafu nianze tena desperate oh yes sir <laughs> desperate mode sasa wewe ni mtu ambaye una influence kubwa sana Tanzania Afrika Mashariki na mm. Afrika pia mm. na moja kati ya kitu ambacho uliwahi kukishia kwenye mtandao wa kijamii sio kitu ambacho tutapenda kuwa influence vijana wakifanye mm. lakini iliwahi kufika point katika maisha ukawa kama umekata tamaa uliandika mm. ujumbe mrefu sana ambao ujumbe ulikuwa umekukatisha tamaa ambapo ukao unasema kwamba yaani ulienda mbali sana na mara nyingi pia wago unazifunga hata zile comment ukasema kwamba unatamani hata usinge exist katika ulimwengu ambapo ipo siku nitakufa hakuna anaishi milele sijui mtaendelea kunisema kwa kejeli na kunitukana matusi ya nguoni au ndo itakuwa hivi na vile Mungu alaze roho yake mahali pema peponi kuna muda mwingine huwa natamani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anichukue tu ya dunia ni mengi sana kuna muda mwingine na kufuru Mwenyezi Mungu na kutamani labda hata nisinge exist ila acha niendelee kumtegemea yeye kila jambo utokea kwa sababu i think i need a time off social media kwa mara nyingine tena siwezi jamani at what point kwa watu gani ilifika ukakutana na mishale mingi sana mabomu mengi sana mashambulio mengi sana mpaka unaona kama hata usinge exist usinge kuepo duniani um unajua katika katika maisha i mean sisi wote ni binadamu yeah sijui nanielewa and kama sisi wote ni binadamu mtu asichukulie tu kwamba kwa sababu yule ni wema 
basi haumi yeah. hana feelings yeah. oh, yani kwa sababu ana yani kwa sababu maybe ni celebrity ama ni star basi tunaweza tukafanya chochote tunachotaka kufanya juu yake yeah. and hawezi kufanya chochote hawezi ku, ku react hawezi ku experience pain hawezi ku experience torment hawezi ku experience torture no we suffer too yani oh, yeah. um sana sana mimi i am very sensitive naweza sema i'm emotional. very sensitive i'm very emotional mm-hmm. yani kitu kidogo kinani 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 gusa sana gusa mno yani mm-hmm. kinani yani kinaweza kikaniharibia kila kitu oh, yeah. just by kitu kidogo tu mm-hmm. so kuna kuna muda unafika lakini naweza kusema i mean kuna muda unafika ngoja nimaliza kwanza hii kuna muda unafika mtu ana unajikuta unatukanwa mm-hmm. alafu hujui kosa ulilofanya yani you like okay ni kwani kwani what happened so unajikuta unashambuliwa ile vilivyo mm. and kumbe tu ni watu ambao wanatumana wana yani kwamba eh hey, sasa hivi tufanye hivi kwa sababu yes ndio hizo hizo ambazo naongelea kwa sababu obviously timu ambayo inakupenda haiwezi kuja kukushambulia yeah, yeah. so unajikuta kwamba sometimes unawekwa katikati ya kitu ambacho pengine hata hakikuhusu yeah. unanielewa yeah. lakini unawekwa wewe kama vile wewe ndio chambo so ina ina kera at times ina kera ina udhi ina yani unatamani kama sijui ufanye nini lakini huwezi hmm. but then siku hizi nimejifunza yani naona kabisa kwamba kwa sababu hivi karibuni nimekuwa nikiblock sana watu mm-hmm. and watu ambao na wa block unakuta <laughs> unakuta wanamfungua profile yake unaona ah <laughs> Haya ngoje basi ni kumblock kwa sababu yani yani hata uone kwamba yani sio unajiuliza unajiuliza sasa huyu naye tena ananisema mimi jamani hmm. yani kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye unamuona kabisa kwamba ye yeah, mwenyewe anahitaji manini help <laughs> msaada hmm. kwenye maisha yake yeah. alafu bado anakuja kwenye page yako anakutukana na kuattack kama vile yani maybe anakujua au maybe maisha yako yanamfanya yeye aishi mm. au yeye maybe ana gain something kutokana na wewe unavoishi yeah, yeah. usinipangie maisha kila mtu ana maisha yake yeah. i always say that yeah. lakini sasa mtu anakuja na kuattack na kuattack na kuattack once twice thrice inaendelea it gets to you oh, yeah. ina 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 get to you so hizo waga ni kwa inakuwa ni zile moment za mimi ku break down hapo sasa ndio ujue nimeshakaa chumba ni kwangu nimejifungia nime Nime <laughs> lia na lia like I would cry hysterically Atari and then so. naona ah, you know what acha ni nini so if is there one person kuna mtu ambaye kitokea situation kama hiyo ndo mara nyingi naona at least labda uchati naye au au mpigie simu muonge um, naye is there is there that one person kuna Martin. mtu Martin oh yeah Martin mm. Martin waga ndo ndo mtu ambaye I think most of the time waga na nam nam consider ni mtu wa kwanza hata kama nikiwa niko kwenye my lowest mood unajua like mama yangu yes lakini anaweza akawa unaona kwamba mama nikimwambia pia nitampa wasiwasi unajua yeah. mama ni mama yeah, yeah. kuna vitu vingine uwezi ukashare na mama unaogopa kwamba ah nisije nikam nikam nikamtafutia matatizo mengine yeah, yeah. kwa vitu vingine inabidi uviswalo mwenyewe na i'm an adult mimi yeah. nimeshakuwa sasa hivi so sio tena ni dekedeke yes mimi na dekezo kwa sababu i'm the last born yeah, yeah. but then um, <laughs> but then kuna muda inabidi inabidi ni toughen up yeah, una, lakini nadhani i mean martin ndo waga ni mtu ambaye yeah. ambaye na yeah. since pia tunapiga story ya maisha yako na movie yako mpya tunaruhusiwa kuitaja by the way sure yeah ni day after life yeah day after death Yeah, I mean day after death yes, yes. na imekuja katika hiyo point ambayo ulikuwa unaiongelea hapa again sio kitu ambacho tutataka ku influence madogo akifanye mm. inawezekana hizo situations ambazo unapitia unajaribu kuitengeneza picha hence kapatikana hii title ya movie day after death hapana mm-hmm. um, uh, the movie day after death mm-hmm. i think van has something to say about mm-hmm. it cuz okay. he was the one who came up with the name who came, with no, the title he came up with the script oh yeah yeah when i when i um when i made contact with him and i told him that i wanted to work with him mm-hmm. He was like okay what what are we going to do I mean do you have a story and I was like you know what I don't want to do anything from my side mm-hmm. you do everything you right. come up with a story I want you to direct it I want you to do everything oh, yeah. so he sent me the script I read it yeah. and I was like okay all the 20 pages nice so yes. I was like mm-hmm. okay all right then we're going to go ahead with that so right. he'll have he'll, he'll say something so yes um Van can you tell us a little bit about Why you came up with that title Day After Death? Uh I th- I think it had to do with the father. Mm-hmm. Um I was trying to find an acronym for for Day 
after death. Mm-hmm. At the same time, I wanted I wanted it to relate to the story, mm-hmm. and because the story was about the father, mm-hmm. so a synonym for father is dad. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking day after death. Mm-hmm. Okay, it is the same as dad. Dad, yeah. Yeah. So it, it sort of just made a lot of sense, mm-hmm. and I wanted it to also be funky. You know, so D dot A dot D dot. It was kind of funky and relative creative. to the story and creative, exactly. Yeah. So I, I thought it, it made a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. it, it wasn't just standing on its own. It, yeah. it, it made a lot of sense to the story. And this story was, um, or actually is, about um, um, a father who has very strong um, bond with his daughter. Yeah. yeah. And you know, sometimes in real life, well, it's actually inspired by a real life story. Mm-hmm. Sometimes in real life, you've got people who look up to you, yeah, yeah. and you would not want a situation where they see you in one of your lowest moments. Yeah, it yeah. sort of like discourages them in a way. So you try to appear strong, even though you know internally you are broken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the bonding he had with his daughter. Yeah. So he did not want a situation where she will see him in in a moment where he is broken, but he was actually dying. So he didn't want her to know. Let me not go into the details. That's for you to come and see tomorrow. I like that. By the way, <laughs> by the way, there's something that I like about the story. You lost your dad when you were like six years old. Correct. Again, she lost her dad. Sorry for that. Uh. So. I get oh, something. We have something in common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and what we don't have in common is you speak really fast and I kind of take my time. <laughs> Here you go again. Anyways, fun to kuna sema ni kwamba alikuja na hilo wazo, aliamua kutumia neno day after death, yani kachukua ile D A D kama dad kama baba, yeye alimpoteza baba yake alipokuwa mdogo sana. Wema pia alimpoteza baba yake na pia kuna story ambayo ukienda kuitazama kwenye movie utaipata. So itabidi tu ende ukaicheki ya. Wema tunaendeleza ma story again. Yeah. Hichi ni kitu ambacho every now and then kinakuja. Ndio. Na probably leo unaweza uka clear there. Um, mara hmm? mara nyingi huwa unamuita Esma ambaye ni dada yake na Diamond Forever Wee. Yeah. Na mama yake pia na Diamond unamuita mami yake. Yeah. Na kwenye comment sometimes ambazo huwa huzizimi au kwenye mitandao kama ulivyosema mtu anaweza kaamua muandike wema tu labda kwa sababu ati likes labda kwa sababu asogee labda trend na vitu vya namna hiyo everybody ana, ana, ana sababu yake wanaanza kuichukua hiyo forever we ni kama vile we ni fi, ni wifi yake kwa esma mm-hmm. na ukimuita mami yake mama yake na diamond wanaamini kwamba kama mtu ame, amefunga ndoa na na mtu fulani basi yule mama ataitwa mama yao kitu cha namna hiyo kwa inaanza kupigia maswali ni kama vile we na diamond eti merudiana apana mm. apana me me and diamond are not together mm-hmm. and um mami yake ilikuwa ni jina ambalo mimi ndo nilianzisha kwenye familia ya diamond kumuita mama yake diamond oh, yeah. kwa sababu kwa sababu mimi mama yangu amekuwa akiniita mami yake mumu wake hivyo mm. yani as in tuna hiyo hizo ake ake kwenye familia yangu kama swag na naisi, yes na naisi hata hizo ake ake mm. ni zilitokaga kwangu mimi oh, kwa yeah. sababu mimi ndo nimezileta kwenye kwenye jumuiya sasa kwa hiyo kila mtu sasa hivi nani yake nani yake yeah. so yeah. imekuwa ya yeah, ime trend yani ni kitu ambacho nimekianzisha mimi yani hiyo niko niko tayari hata kusema mbele ya mbele ya kadam nasi ni yeah. kitu changu yeah, yeah. shame lake yani mm. It's something that I started. Kwa hiyo nimeito mimi nimetoka nayo nyumbani kwetu. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo nilipokuwa namuita mami yake tokea kipindi kile ndio imekuwa iko hivyo paka kesho kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho nimezoea kumuita. Mm-hmm. As for Esma hapa kati am um, kipindi kile ambacho mimi niko on and off na Nasib mm-hmm. um, ilikuwa ni kama tu tulianza yani akambe wewe yani wewe ndo forever wii wangu yani mm. hata waje nani nani wewe ndo forever wii kwanza wifi ya uishi mm. eh, ushemeji ya uishi kwa hiyo imekuwa ni forever wii forever wii so ni ni nicknames ambazo zimekuwa zikiwepo na sio kwa sababu wote niko na nasibu ndio maana naita hivyo no mm. mimi nasibu sasa hivi tuko kama washikaji tu yani tuko ni washikaji sana mm. washikaji paka sio poa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo yani iko hivyo yani we are we just good friends and that's it. Oh yeah. Kwa sababu mm. again kuna kuna issue moja ambayo ilitokea mm. ambayo watu hawaiamini mpaka leo kama inaweza katokea kama watu lishawahi kuwa ex. Mm. Kulikuwa siku na uzinduzi wa mboso kitu cha namna hiyo ikapigiwa mstari kwamba mmekiss 
merudiana ah, hatuko kiss hey. hatuko kiss yani yani hilo swali nilijibu muda hatuko kiss omi <laughs> tu ikumbatiana tu na nadhani kwa sababu um, watu walikuwa wameshazoea ile ile hali ya kwamba mimi na nasib hatuko okay kwa sababu mimi na nasib tulivogombana ni vita tulivoachana hmm. ikawa ni vita hmm. hatukusemeshana kabisa hmm. yani yani tulikuwa maadui hmm. for three years hmm. yeah kwa hiyo tukawa hatuongei hatusemeshani na watu wakawa wameshaizoea hiyo hali yeah. kwamba hawa wawili hawawezi kusemeshana yeah, yeah, yeah. so kitendo cha kutuona kwamba tunaongea ah wamerudiana hmm. kitu ambacho no we just grew up then growth it may take part yake and to me accept um life kwamba imeshaenda mimi na mheshimu yeye ana familia ana watoto i look at him now like just a normal friend and yeah, yeah. okay lakini alikuja hapa Hamisa akazungumza kuhusiana na na ukaribu i mean yeye kukubali wewe wewe ambao umeokuwa unamuinspire since yuko shule lakini anasema by that time hajui ni kitu gani ambacho kimetokea kati yako wewe na yeye mpaka imekuwa Yaani hamuelewani ni sema mmekuwa mkirushiana labda maneno kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Messi haikumrushia maneno hamisa. Sasa yeye akazungumza kwamba hajui ni kitu gani ambacho kimetokea kati yako na yeye mpaka kumekuwa na na hiyo kitu hapa katikati. Hata mimi mwenyewe ukiniuliza nitakwambia sijui. No, yeah. Yaani for real kwa sababu just juzi kati hapa na hisi ilikuwa ni um, uzinduzi wa mimi kwa balozi watatumzuka. Wa no, yeah. Nili bless kabisa. I was like oh my gosh these people wana mtoto mzuri sana they should get married you know. Mm. And sina tatizo. But then na hisi um kinachotokea hapa katikati ni ni hizi mambo zinazoletwa kutokana na mitandao. Unajua watu hawajui kutumia mitandao. Utimu. Yeah, utimu. Ndio hiyo utimu ninaosema. So mtu anakuja na kuattack alafu ukiangalia kwamba okay kumbe ona ni attack kwa sababu ya kitu fulani. Uona ni attack kwa sababu ya mtu fulani. Kwa hiyo in real sense ni ubinadamu tu. Lazima chuki hiyo itoke. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ukiona kwamba okay na atakiwa. Kwa nini mimi nimefanya kosa gani? Alafu na atakiwa kwa kwa, kwa sababu gani sio unanielewa mm. and then ukiangalia source ya wewe kuwa attacked unapata source kwa sababu ya mtu fulani lazima hata kama ingekuwa ni wewe yani yeah. mimi naongelea tu just generally kibina adam so uweze kufurahi kwa hiyo nahisi ni mitandao sana sana lakini mimi yule mtoto hakike sina tatizo naye yani kusema kwamba yani yeti nina tatizo naye na be fool sio yani no siwezi yani i've got so much so many things to do yani siwezi kwanza kufanya ubif tena na watoto wadogo jamani kweli sababu yakapigia mstari kwamba yawezekana issue ya diamond jamani ndo kweli na ndo watu wakampigia mstari kwa sababu ndo maana wema hakwenda kwenye Miss Tanzania sina ndo ambalo yeye alikuwa kwenye Miss Tanzania sikuwa sikuwa niko niko nini niko Tanzania. niko Tanzania i mean okay. ni, ni, sikuwa niko dar yeah, yeah. nilisafiri nilienda mkoani and nilivyoona kwamba watu wanasema sana kwamba eti ameshindwa kwenda kwa sababu ya nini ili ni lazima unajua kuna time hutaki utakiwi ku prove a point kwa mtu yote kwa sababu no, you, you owe no one an explanation mm. yani i can do my thing and i i don't owe maisha, anybody yeah. an explanation maisha yako exactly this is my life lakini mm. inafika point unakuwa uko pushed kufanya kitu ili u explain kwamba yo sio hivi ni yeah. hivi kwa hiyo ilibidi ni snap kwamba guys siko Tanzania no, and it's not like nime miss Miss Tanzania kwa sababu ya Hamisa no oh, yeah. no the playlist